few months ago all this was covered by the water so yeah it's receding even more I got beach here look at all the shit that people freaking leave garbage thrown in the river that's disgusting Actually, get down here and see the rocks, smaller rocks on, underneath the water. Wow. If it wasn't so cold, I'd have some shorts on and walk in the river. Pretty amazing that nature can change so quickly. It's awesome. It's a power of God. How he set everything up. There's some PVC pipe there. There's some garbage there that I'll pick up on the way back. Woke up at uh, 345 this morning. Got a little cleaning done. Shaved my head. Did a couple other things. Good to go. So I figured I'd come out here. Yeah, I'm seeing, a, I mean, a little bit of erosion, but that's usually normal. I'm not seeing the erosion that they showed on the news the other day. Maybe it won't be too much longer until I can walk out there. I don't know if you can see the difference between the river level and that, how it's coming down hill right there. And yes, I'm still looking for the right gimbal to get. Try to hold this as steady as I can in the meantime. I wonder how many fish are out there. I'm not even sure if the steelhead are running right now.
What really matters to you? I'm throw that question out there. Think about it. What really matters to you? Does stuff matter? Or is it family? Which it should be, in my opinion. Or is it just politics, bullshit? I mean, politics matters to me. I've always been interested in it, but... I don't know, this is... Uh, This is a lot better than watching or listening to politics, so. And it's so interesting that just like a month ago, all this area here was covered with water. Over there, it looks like there may be a little erosion, but maybe further down the, or further up the river. And I just walked past the mole hole. That's funny. Even the moles come toward the, the beach and the rocks. And I'm sure this was a sacred area, sacred river for the Indians. And the Cowlitz tribe. Yeah, there's PVC pipe. Jeez. And there's a some that's volcanic rock. That's pumice, some kind of yeah, it's pretty light for as big as it is. There's a, uh, that's a piece of steel. I wonder what that's from. Guess I may need to look into uh, having a Lewis River cleanup if there isn't one already.
Yeah, I'm wondering what all this PVC pipe that's exposed now is from. I mean, it's got to be within the last 30, 40 years. PVC didn't exist, you know, 50, 60 years ago. Interesting. Big old dog right there. Dog paw print. Heck yeah. Puppy dogs. And I promised myself I wouldn't try to kick anybody in the ass and get involved, do this, go con congress.gov. Yeah, so I won't do it even though I just did, so. <laughs> Some of these rocks are pretty awesome. Got a little sandbar here being exposed now. The power of water is amazing. But I hope everybody has at least some time during their day to get out and reflect on their life, their family, priorities, the things that are actually really important. I think once you do that, everything else is cake. That one looks like a good rock. I wonder if you could put that in the tumbler and it would it's maybe agate, I'm not sure. Oh, there's oh there's an agate right there. Look at that one. Cool. That one looks like a potato. <laughs> looks just like a rusted potato or something. Huh. Yeah, I know, I'm a nerd. But I'll kick your ass. Look at that. 
on that rock get right there it's flat on the bottom pretty cool nature Thankfully, God created this world for us. We all have free will, so let's treat the land with respect. Don't go out and throw your garbage everywhere. There's a pretty cool rock, too, that one. And no, I'm not some bleeding heart liberal. I'm a conservative. What does conserve mean? Think about it. This is actually exactly what I needed today. I'm just come down to the river. I wasn't going to, and then, I don't know, something inside of me just said, get your ass down to the river. Look at all the sand that got built up there from the river being this high a couple months ago. Pretty cool. More dump trucks. You literally can't go anywhere up here without running into probably 10 dump trucks because they're doing so much construction up here in this area so those freaking californians and liberals moving up here and i can guarantee the people that throw their trash out the window and throw it in the river and stuff i get guarantee they're freaking liberal idiots they're hypocrites they claim they like the environment and they're gonna go hug trees but i would imagine that oh wait there's two tr dump trucks passing each other oh there comes a third there we go there is a rock quarry over here so <laughs> I guess I'll just continue to monitor the river here and post updates when I get down here. But that water is pretty cold.
Okay. Take care, guys. God bless. Carry a firearm. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.